record-breaking applications, groundbreaking construction, and ceiling-shattering donations. It's no doubt it's been a big year for Clemson University, and as 2015 comes to a close, we're taking a look at some of the highlights. I'm Katie Davidson, and this is what's happened inside Clemson. Clemson began 2015 with a goal to improve in every way, and that's showing across the nation. If you visit Experience Clemson in Greenville, which opened in September of 2015, you can see firsthand the unique experiences that Clemson offers the members of the Clemson family. Visitors can discover inspiring stories of Clemson faculty, staff, and students, as well as rub a replica rock and learn about Clemson's initiatives. Experience Clemson was the result of the Will to Lead campaign, which creates scholarships, endowments, and growth at Clemson. The campaign has surpassed the $9 million mark and hopes to reach the goal of $1 billion by 2016. And for the eighth year, Clemson has been named to the top 25 public universities in the nation, and more and more, prospective students are looking to join this elite Clemson family. 2015 saw the largest transfer class in history, just over 1,300 students, with almost 3,000 applications rolling in. The university also received over 22,000 freshman applications, and this year's freshman class had a record high ACT score of 28.5. Clemson also saw a renewed vision as the university focused on the Clemson Forward campaign, which looks to push Clemson to the forefront of the nation's public land-grant universities. One aspect of this campaign, college reorganizations. The decision, which was announced in 2015, will take effect in July of 2016 and will create seven new colleges that President Clement says will help academic units achieve national prominence. The Board of Trustees also commissioned a task force on the history of Clemson in order to share the entire story, and three historical markers will be created to commemorate the roles of the Cherokee Nation, enslaved people, and convict laborers in early Clemson history. Clemson also put diversity and inclusion at the forefront of the discussion with the creation of the Gantt Multicultural Center. Led by the Chief Diversity Officer, who will be selected in early January, the Gantt Center aims to offer students the opportunity to engage across different identities and differences. And as the search for Chief Diversity Officer continues, the new Chief of Staff, Max Allen, who started in July, has stepped in as Interim Diversity Officer and is offering students and faculty the opportunity to discuss Clemson's history in diversity and inclusion. One issue that Allen and the entire administration have raised awareness for, sexual assault on campus. <laughs> Vice President Joe Biden visited the university to speak on the issue and encouraged students to take the It's On Us pledge. Students gathered in Jervie Gymnasium hours in advance to hear the vice president speak on this subject that affects many college students. Also arriving on campus to speak to students, Bill Gates visited Tillman Hall to speak on the importance of technology and the responsibility of this generation to help the world. But for Clemson, it's not all academics and initiatives this year. Students and alumni are relishing in an undefeated football season as the Tigers defeated the UNC Tar Heels to claim the ACC championship, as well as advance to the college football playoff in the number one seat. As the university ushered in 2015, they also took the opportunity to bring Clemson into the limelight with new ideas and comprehensive plans to improve the Clemson experience for everyone on campus. With 2016 just around the corner, the university only has bigger and better things in mind. From Clemson University, I'm Katie Davidson for Inside Clemson.